Hi there! At this point, your team has an amazing business plan. Now, in step 3 of the School Enterprise Challenge, you will launch and run your business. This video will explain the different activities to launch a successful business. Here are some key facts about step 3, business implementation and launch. Step 3 is the last step in the School Enterprise Challenge program. It consists of six activities designed to help you launch a successful business. We provide five modules to support teachers to complete in these activities with the students. You should run your business for at least three months, as running a business for this period of time will help your team work on their customer service, make adjustments on their product, and really work as a team making and selling their products or services, becoming real entrepreneurs. So let's go through each activity of step three. Activity one, business management. To start off this final step, you must look back at all you have learned and summarize the key points when running your own school business. So we recommend you come back to this activity after running your business for a while. In this activity, your team will have to describe the different steps taken to launch your business, discuss the different departments the students worked in and how the road has functioned, and comment on the strategies used to raise the startup capital for the business. Feel free to get detailed stories and quotes from different team members, such as department heads, to hear about their own experience in the program. Activity two, marketing your business. In this activity, your team discusses different strategies and forms of marketing your products or services to boost your business sale. Throughout this, you must differentiate the good, effective strategies from those that did not create an increase in sales. So it's all about reflecting on what happened with your marketing strategies. Activity three, accounting and record keeping. In this activity, your team will need to report on the financial performance of their business. This will be done through the guidelines of a worksheet provided, including questions on period of time, income, direct costs, indirect costs, net profit, and gross profit. However, even though numbers are important, we'd also like to hear about your experience. So you can upload statements about your sales experience alongside some pictures of your team. Activity four, team management. In this activity, the team will reflect on the lessons learned from participating in the School Enterprise Challenge, as well as their experiences with the Business Management Committee meetings. This task centers around reflecting on your team members, as well as what you have learned throughout your experience. The Business Management Committees are committees formed by students, parents, teachers, head teachers, and staff from the school that are participating in the business team. Having Business Management Committee meetings is going to help you continue to work towards achieving your business objectives. Activity 5. Sustainability and Development during this activity, students will examine the effects their business has on the community and environment. They will have to consider economic, social, and environmental factors, identifying strategies to ensure their business operates sustainably. You will also have to decide as a team what to do with your profits and what the future of your business entails. Activity 6. Teacher's Assessment business implementation. So, as in step one and two, the last activity is a teacher's assessment, which only teachers should complete. This activity consists of multiple questions that as a teacher you should complete about your student's contribution to the business team. In this activity, you must assess the progress in skills of different students throughout the School Enterprise Challenge. This will also help you understand your students better and how you can help them to develop further. However, we also value your growth and development and your skills. So we're going to ask you some questions on your teacher skill development. This is to be completed after the students have finished all the activities in step three, business implementation. Those are the six activities that are part of step three, business implementation. Now I'm going to share with you some top tips that you should consider as you continue your journey with the School Enterprise Challenge. Run your business for at least two to three months before submitting your own report. This extended period allows you to make multiple sales and gain valuable experience. Keep track of your finances. Regularly document your costs and income. Use a financial plan worksheet from lesson eight to record every transaction. This helps you maintain a clear and accurate financial overview. 
Use the photo journal in your team's online account to upload photos. Visual documentation helps judges better understand your business and its operation, and it's also a nice memory for you to have. Make sure that you take time with each activity and exercise. Go in detail about your experiences. This also means do not try to convince the judges that everything worked perfectly. Being honest and open about your experiences is more valuable. And congratulations. After your business team completes all the activities related to step three, business implementation, you will earn a digital badge. But that's not all. Completing these steps opens door to competitions. So check out for the competition deadlines in the compete section of the platform. Participate for a chance to win valuable resources for your team. Now, here's the exciting part. If your team participates in all three steps of the program competitions, business idea, business plan, and annual report, you will receive a certificate. The level of your certificate, bronze, silver, or gold, depends on the quality of your submissions. You will also get a digital badge to honor your achievement. Plus, participating in all three step competitions opens up more opportunities for your team to shine in additional competitions. So keep an eye on this section and get ready to showcase your entrepreneurial skills. Do you have any questions? Please email us at info at schoolenterprisechallenge.org. Thank you.